Remember, they're changing my voice. For those of you who do not understand the seriousness of the situation, look at how they changed my pictures. This one, okay, was basically how it used to look. Basically, I mean, it's a little bit different. It didn't have that kind of darkness to it, but it was extremely handsome. My skin quality was like one of the main uh, things that was appealing, a certain kind of look to it, a very kind of beach, kind of very healthy, very handsome. From years of doing martial arts, this was in 2012. I was doing martial arts intensely for years leading up to that. Now here, you see this is like an orange skin. Same with this female. She had gorgeous Ethiopian brown skin, and they made it look orange. I don't know if they're going to change uh, this picture or not. For whatever reason, here in this picture, there's orange skin female who looks nearly identical to her. They do things like this. That they don't only, they not only edit my pictures, but they do things like that. Now let's let's look over here. Okay, this is the brothers were Biafra and Niger. These are Igbo and other tribes that are right next to the Igbo who have a similar genetic makeup. These are their recruits. Notice every single one of them is dead serious. Okay. You know, it's almost like they're all tall, but a lot of them are tall, but they have a similar shape. And that shape is very much like my shape historically. And don't let the pink rose fool you. Someone else put that there. This is a wedding. Okay. That was more my shape growing up. Played basketball for hours every day, skipping my homework and everything. Now, here you have 2016. I believe this was like 2017 or 18. Look at that dramatic shift. Look at the facial structure. Why is it so drastically different? Because they started doing things that would dehydrate me. They started poisoning me in a way that I was just drinking soda. I'd have to mix it up at the stores. And there was something wrong with everything I drank. And I was getting dehydrated. I even have a video where I'm at a doctor's office. And they say, yes, you're dehydrated. Okay. Now here we have Olympic guys, right? Notice they're indoors on some kind of Olympic floor, right? Background check. Notice his hands show you that he's not that coordinated. He's not that fast of a striking body. This is part of why they edit my pictures. Here you can see kind of a striking body. You can see evidence of a former striking body, and it it's like bony, right? They've reduced muscle kind of um, quality. Here you see evidence of a striking body, and it looks like I'm bigger than I am, just like they did this. My arms weren't that big. They're, my arms are big. And my forearms are kind of small. Even to this day, they are, right? Kind of small, okay? And that is for an optimum striking body. The torque, the hips, okay? The shoulders, okay? The, the exact muscles, the muscle quality, it all came together, right? Look at my stomach right there. Look at how firm that is. That part, they, it, that's what the picture more or less looked like. There was a white light in front of it that would hit the stomach. And I was like, wow, that looks fucking brilliant. So I, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a picture of this. And I took a picture, and one of the best pictures I ever took, one of the best pictures of martial art history, was the original version of this picture, okay? And I added, you know, this lightsaber. Um, I found on the, you know, I found some kind of site or something that let me add the lightsaber. And it took me forever, because those all kinds of lightsabers that came up, and I still don't quite understand the programming that went into it, but it allowed me to add the lightsaber in a way that went with the picture. That's what people were doing back then in, in Facebook. I did not edit that picture. Any editing that was done was done by them to reduce the look of martial striking. Here, I put this sacred geometry. Notice the words are blurry. Okay, so that's why I put, see how my pictures are blurry? Look at the words. Those sick racist organized rape groups that are a part of the government edited my pics covertly, but you can still kind of tell that I had world record speed. And all of the people during my time cowered from responsibility why I manned up, except my parents are blameless. Okay, so... This is, you know, my arms are big. And, they, you know, at that time they were big because of what was going on, okay? You know, um, for every reason, I was working out heavily, doing a lot of push-ups, doing a lot of bicep curls, doing a lot of pull-ups, okay? But it, they weren't, like, slow. Like, those look like, those look like a boa constrictor or a big snake. That is the opposition view. I do not believe in having big, big snake arms. That's the devil style, okay? That's, I'm not a devil, Okay? Part of how you know it's me is there's tattoos, African tattoo, Biafran flag tattoo. That is the country here, Biafra and Nigeria, the Nigerian Civil War, okay? And I have a tattoo on my chest and so on and so forth. It's a long story why I have those things. You know, they were fuming me and drugging me. And at one point I started getting a lot of tattoos to remind myself who I am in case I ever 
lost my mind because I knew that they were causing me serious cognitive damage and trying to get me to reinvent myself, okay? And trying to get me to pretend that I'm in fear. Now, look at his. I beat this guy 10-0. Look at his body structure. You can tell that these guys kick better than this guy by the structure of his legs, okay? But those kicks aren't going to get past this defense or this defense, right? With gloves or without, okay? They're not fast enough on their feet, okay? My, I'm, my footwork is far better than theirs because I played basketball for years. So look over the here. You can tell by my shape. I have a certain kind of shape of this body, right? This is in 2014 that allowed me to move super duper fast. Shame I don't have that one picture here where it shows me kind of moving in my Cortez shoes, okay? Even here in 2020, you can still see the shape of the body that I'm fast, right? Fast and to the point. Faster than any Kung Fu person, faster than Bruce Lee, what have you, faster than Jackie Chan, okay? And they, they're they not faster with their hands and their feet, their, their feet techniques. I don't do a lot of those high-flying kicks, but my kicks are more fast, more sharp and to the point. And I have pictures of that, okay? Uh, different poster. We'll do it another day. Here we see outdoor. What happens? This person is actually an Olympic, a female Olympic athlete. She does kicks like these guys do kicks or something, okay? Notice if she puts on heels and put, goes on a different floor, she's struggling to do an effective kick. And so it is when you're on grass or you're on dirt, okay? This is, you know, martial arts are for nature, right? See these Zulu warriors, for example, they're in nature. See this, uh, this leopard, he's in nature, okay? One of the five animal styles of Kung Fu is panther, right? A leopard, a panther. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so look at this kind of extreme. You know, I really used to, I kept these pictures until they made them pink because it shows the extreme, uh, an extreme amount of exertion of power. So these guys, these Olympic athletes, could not beat me at a true martial art contest, which is outdoor sparring, okay, when done right, point sparring. I'd outmaneuver them. And oh, I forgot to print out all these pictures of Ip Man, I believe it's Ip Man 1, where the Mongolian guy takes him on, and he takes him on with a, um, you know, I'm going to print them out right now with a, a kind of, dust, uh, one of those dusters that, you know, those maids use, okay, and it shows my point big time, sparring shows transferable skills for actual combat, this guy uses a sword, and he's trying to kill him, I guess, to prove his point, and he's out maneuvering him and saying, hey, I can stab you right here, and he's, he's taking him on a certain way, he's making points, he's striking him at a certain point that's making his point, okay, pretty straightforward. You also see the lateral movements, the side-to-side -side movements that are being done by these Zulu warriors. For whatever reason, they try to reduce the appearance. Well, here's, a, here's, here's some footwork picture. It's a little bit blurry. But I'm fast, real fast on my feet from years and years of playing basketball. In fact, this picture was taken on a basketball court, okay, when I was 15 years old. Years and years. I have a basketball court in my house. Years and years of footwork activity, training by myself, imagining outmaneuvering people on the basketball court, made me very fast, very maneuverable. A certain body that allowed for optimum footwork. My footwork better than the Zulu. It's better than the, these Taekwondo guys. Better than these Olympic people, karate people. You name it. Okay. Let's look over here. Okay. Again, this is you know the the Falcon has a certain way about it that they're trying to cover it up because it's similar to me. Okay. That essence of the Falcon is what it's getting at. The spirit of Horus, right? A war spirit, right? And talons and talent, right? And you look at my my hands. Okay, they're similar to the talons, right? Those long fingers, okay? You see what I'm saying? Similar to the talons, okay? Even though they messed up my hands a little bit before. You know, my hands were of higher quality before when I was younger and when I was healthier, what have you. Here's Bruce Lee in Chinese Connection, Fist of Fury, when he kisses this female in a very romantic way. Notice they've edited my picture, make my skin orange like hers, like they changed it here. They reduced my attractiveness and they edited this picture and this picture. All my pictures are edited. 